What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. This is Madison Lee Cup round number two. And on the top of the screen, we have Zach Crackler playing his Greninja break deck. And on the bottom, we have Alex Hill piling his Vespa Queen Zep Strika Garboder deck that everybody loves and I know wants to see so bad. So we're going to see how this matchup plays out. Greninja versus Vespa Queen. On paper, you think Vest Queen just wins it, you hit for weakness, blah, blah, blah. But you got to think of Water Shuriken, giant, I mean, Giant Water Shuriken. You got to think of Burst Balloons. You got to think of Shadow Stitching. All this stuff does make it a little bit hard of a matchup for sure. So we're going to see both players get some dice out. And it looks like Zach is going to go first, maybe? I saw him put the dice on his side. And uh, this is going to be a very interesting matchup for sure. Now, Alex, as you see, does have Garb. Oh, he starts with Trubbish as well. So he does play Garboder, which makes it a little bit interesting and does help out a lot against this Greninja deck. But like I said, Burst Balloons make this whole matchup very, very strange. So yeah, it's going to be Greninja versus Vesquine. And I know everybody wants to see Vesquine. They want to see a uh, Vesquine deck in action. And that's why I decided to put it on here. Now both players are like phenomenal playing. Really, really good players. Zach has won states before. I think he's won, re oh, I want to say he's won regionals. I know his brother has, but I can't remember if Zach has it. Oh, I don't remember. Um, but I know for sure Zach has one states. He's done fairly well overall in Pokemon. Multi I think he's made worlds multiple times, if I remember correctly. Uh, but Alex Hill, everybody knows him. So we're not going to go too much about uh, him overall. But looks like Zach will get a Pokemon. Um, he's debating. It looks like he has a Talonflame, maybe? No, okay. No, he doesn't. So we're going to draw a Mulligan card for Alex. It looks like Alex is actually going to go first because the dice is on his side of the field, uh, signifying that he is going to go first. And that match is going to be a, this is going to be a fast game. As you see, both players are shuffling really fast, and their moves are, oh man, they're going to be like, they're just going to play super lightning, and hopefully, I will be able to keep up. Um, but we're just waiting for players to set up. And guys, I want to give a quick shout out again to the next level games. Make sure you check the link down below to their website. You can order Pokemon singles, booster packs, all that good stuff. If you're a fan of Yugo Magic as well, you can check them out. They did help us with these, this very nice tripod stand. So make sure you check out the website and support them. So we've seen Acrobat from Alex. And as you see from the start, Alex is just playing so fast. Uh, uh, Blitzel coming down, okay. Uh, Klefki coming down as well. Sycamore, go and discard his hand, draw seven cards. Discards the Garbodor, Klefki, Shaman. He does have another Blitzel. He's got an Ultra Ball. He could discard the Zep Strika and the Blitzel. Probably going to Combi out most likely. I imagine that's what we'll see. But Alex is going to take a second to see what's in his deck. He's going to count how many DCs are in there, how many Vest Queens, and all that good stuff. See what is priced. Now, he could use, I don't think he's ever going to use Zep Strika. Zep Strika only does 50. Uh, which is not too strong, but Alex just puts on both, so I imagine, just in case he does not hit another Pokemon and he doesn't get, like, benched out. So, gonna put another Combi. He does have a Shaman as well. But I wonder if Alex plays another Scarboner. Does he play a Super Rod? A way to get back this Combi or not. I mean, uh, the Garboder or not. So we see another Combi coming down. He has a DC to the Active Trubbish. Retreats to the Blissel. Uh, Combi. Special Charge. Shuffle the DC back into his deck. Um, <coughs> Zip Spiker does not have free retreat, unfortunately. So I want, oh, he can hit for weakness on this Talonflame. Wow. So yeah, he can't, I forgot that Zach started Talonflame. So why did you go to the active? And if, if Zach does not find another Pokemon, Alex can crash the bolt for the knockout doing 220, I'm pretty sure. But no, Froakie coming down, but Alex will put tremendous amount of pressure down on this Talonflame. So we see a dive ball, probably grab another Froakie. Just saying, hey Alex, if you decide to license a Froakie, I have another one ready to go. To use Water the Goodness to the front falling turn. Uh, but Alex has his up striker, he has a Shaman, he's going to probably just via Seeker for Shaman and just discard the Shaman most likely. Or right, via Seeker for Sycamore, discard a Shaman. But Alex does have his up striker, he can put that down. Hopefully in DC to take a knockout and uh, just start prize changes from there. So, let's see. We're going to see Arrow Blitz for 40. He's going to get 82 cards out of his deck. And let's see, what does he decide to get? Uh, I'm not sure what that card was. Maybe a Water G? Maybe a Frog of Deer if he doesn't have one in hand? Uh, let's see. He's debating what the set card is going to be. Uh, oh, oh, I thought he grabbed something, but he did not. Well, he has plenty of Water G in his hand, so that's not probably the best. 
He could probably grab a Burst Bloom and a Frogadier. We see a Feral Letter, an Ultra Ball, a uh, Zep Striker, Seamus, set him for four. Okay, does he find a DCE? Uh, Revitalize Ultra Ball. Oh no, Alex has two VS Seekers in his hand. And I think there's already two of the discard pile. Oh man, oh no, that is not good. We see an Ultra Ball for a Vesta Queen. Oh man, he's going to discard all of his VS Seekers if he goes for the Shaman. And if he goes for Sycamore, which I think you kind of have to. I think you have to play Shaman right now, or Sycamore. Try to hit a DC take a knock on Talonflame. And just try to put these this early pressure. Be it'd be interesting to see what Alex decides to do. So nope, yep, going to play Sycamore. Discard his hand, draw seven of cards. There's Combi, Ultra Ball, Acrobike, Sycamore, Flowstone. Uh, he can get a Garboder out this turn. He does play Super Rod as well. So he can get a Garboder back out. We see an Ultra Ball for um a Garbodor. So oh he does play a second Garbodor. So second Garbodor does come down as well. But can Alex find this DC or not take a knock on the active? Oh man, let's see. He's he's got an Acrobike. So he can look at touch cards of his deck. He's just seen okay, let's show me one. Show me Acrobike and oh no! Those are two cards you don't want to see. He's going to discard the Lysander, and we're gonna see it pass. Oh, to, oh no, that's not good. All right, so he's, he's gonna look at his discard pile, see what's all in there. Does he want to use Super Rod? Um, looks like he might use a Super Rod. Looks like he may. I don't know. Will he pass a Super Rod? He's got a Flustone on him, and oh, we're see pass on the Zach's turn. Wow, so he whiffs the DCE. So we see a Frog and Deer coming down. Uh, we'll see a Water Energy, and does Zach have that Bursty Balloon? If he does, it does make the situation very awkward if Alex decides to attack this Frogadier because it will get hit for the Burst Balloon. So, Frogadier coming up, and never mind, just going to see Water Dupin's get a Frogadier. Frogadier, and is the last one in the deck, and it is in the deck. So, three Frogadiers coming out turn to a very strong start for Alex Zach so far. Uh, Zach, I mean, Alex could have taken a knockout, but he did unfortunately whiff that DCE. Alright, so we're going to get a good shuffle. And let's see, what does Alex find? And there's an unknown, which I, I think he does not want to see. Uh, Super Rod, Gunna Shuffle 3, Combination Pokemon, back into his deck. Uh, the Garbodor, Trubbish, and a Combi or Vesper Queen. I'm not sure which one it was. And we'll most likely see a Sycamore discard his hand, draw 7 of guards. But if he does do that, Alex has already played 1 Special Charge. And I don't think there's any way he plays 3. Flowstone, Sycamore, and can he find a Flowstone? Oh, DC, and there's a DC for that Vesper Queen. But no Flowstone for that Garboder. It uh, doesn't really matter too much. Zach doesn't have any abilities this following turn. All right, so it is Zach's turn. You might send a Talonflame, use Arrow Blitz, search for two Pokemon you want, and just hope that Alex does not find a Flowstone for that Garb, which we see the Flowstone in Alex's hand. Oh, man. Uh, Zach's going to see what's all in the discard pile. Uh, what, what is Alex playing in this crazy deck? All right, so Greninja coming out. We see, um, does he play Ace Trainer? That could be really dirty if he plays Ace Trainer. Let's say he's on a VS Seeker for a in. If it's in, oh, Team Flurgon discarding the DC off the active. Ooh, DC, if Team Flurgon being really dirty right now. And we'll most likely see an Arrow Blitz. Probably grab like two Greninjas, maybe. Maybe a supporter card in Greninja. We'll see a Water Dragon today. Greninja and an Arrow Blitz for 40. Going to search the deck for any two cards. And I wonder what he'll decide to get. I mean, we're not going to be able to tell. He just grabbed him so quick. Like, you're watching this game, and you're like, maybe it's sped up. And you're like, no, it's it's just not sped up. They just play so fast. Like, they're just flying at lightning speeds. Uh, neither player, they're not going to die. They're just playing so fast. Um, I was going to draw a card, hit the garb. He does have a DC in his hand, so he can take a knockout. But Alex wants to license that Greninja to knock it out. Um, he's got a Flowstone as well, so he can turn to Garbone, and it's going to start getting really shaky for Zach. So we see a, flo a DC, Flowstone, and alright, so he's going to end those cards out of Zach's hand, saying, hey, you don't need these, what are you doing? He's going to trade a Crashing Bolt to knock out the Talonflame, and make it where Zach cannot find any two cards out of his deck anymore. And Greninja Bait pretty much becomes useless, because now Zach can use Giant Water Shuriken, and all that good stuff. So, both players are going to shuffle. Uh, Alex is going to get five. Zach's going to get six. Uh, we see a best plane going to come down immediately from Alex. We're going to see a street, a retreat, 
and a Crashing Bolt for a knockout, going out of four prize cards. Now onto Zach's turn, going to draw a card, have the Grenade to Break come down. Doesn't really matter too much, they're just going to get knocked out immediately. He does have a lot of energy, so he can knock out the active, and there's the burst one I was talking about. And this makes the game very interesting, because if Alex decides to attack it, well, he can pop for 60, and then he can just immediately knock out the following turn. Uh, but we'll see as Sycamore discard his hand, draw 7 cards, double Greninja, okay. And we will see a Moonlight Slash most likely knock out the active, pick up the energy off it. Uh, Silent Lab coming down, which a lot of Greninja players are playing Silent Lab. For uh, Gardevoir, we know Gardevoir is one of the most dominant decks right now after winning Dallas Regionals. And uh, we're going to see him draw a card. Alex does have a DC and teammates in hand. Ooh, but he has to watch out for this burst one. Kobe coming down, and we're going to see a Sky Return, which is a very good play. Going to send the other Shaman, just going to get all of his EXs off the field. Now, like I said, if Alex decided to attack with the Vest Queen, that would have been very, very bad. Uh, but we see Alex is not going to get, he's going to play around it saying, hey, I'm not going to hit your, your Greninja with a Burst Balloon. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to Sky Return, get my EXs off the field, and we're going to be okay. So, Zach's going to die ball for a giant, I mean, for a uh, Greninja break. Doesn't really matter too much. What Zach needs right now is a Lysander to bring up one of the best coins off the bench with a Burst Balloon. Um, yeah. And he, I mean, even if Zach has a Lysander, he gets one turn of knocking out a Vest Queen. Then he has to two shot these Vest Queens because they have 90 HP. With the Giant Water Shirt, I mean, with the Moonlight Slash, you're not even taking a knockout. Oh, man, this is not looking good for Zach at all. At the beginning game, I thought it was going to be close, but maybe it's a little bit more lopsided than I thought. Um, we see an Ace Trainer. Going to put Alex down to three. And this could be very bad for Alex. If Zach can... If, if Alex can't find a way to retreat the Shaman, like with the Flow with the DCE or whatever, then Zach can potentially take a knockout on it and go and just take uh, an EX knockout and go in out of three prize cards. All right, so does Alex find a Flow Stone? He has a Lysander in and a Garb. So that's not a DCE just yet. Alex can play the end and hopefully hit a DC off that. Uh, we see Dive Ball not going to get anything for uh, Zach. I think all of his Frog and Deers are in play or the Discard Pile. And let's see what he decides to do here. Probably go for a Moonlight Slash for 80. So another Dive Ball not going to get anything. Just sending his deck out saying, hey, oh, okay, there's a Greninja. But I don't think he plays Rare Candy. Man, if he plays Rare Candy right now, that'd be amazing. Having four Greninjas. All right, does he play Rare Candy? I don't think so. Uh, does, that doesn't seem very Zack-like. Uh, but both players are just going to look at each, player, each player's discard ball, see what's all in there. Just try to think of the odds. Oh, man. All right, so let's see. We'll see Moonlight Slash for 80. And can Alex find this DC or not going to draw a card? And there's the teammates, which does not help right now because Zack did not take a knockout that turn. Oh, no. So let's see. What will Alex do? Does he play in for four? I mean, it doesn't seem too bad, right? You end, you get four new cards. If you hit a DCE. Oh, no, he's just going to pass. All right, so Splash is the active. And now Zach can Moonlight Slash for 60. Take a knockout going out of three prize cards. All right, so, uh, but Zach did not have a Burst Balloon. So we see teammates going to search for two cards out of his deck. Going to grab a DCE and a Vespa Queen. All right, so Alex will take a knockout, going down to three. Alex, I mean, then Zach's going to attack, not take a knockout, but if he finds a burst balloon, things become interesting, but Alex does have a life center in his hand. All right, so all the Greninja get returned back to his Zach's hand because of the uh, the splash energy. We see a frog and deer coming down. Uh, Zach does have a, a burst balloon. We see a Via Seeker. We're going to grab a team discard the DCE, and we see his, his Alex immediately a scoop, and Alex ran out of DCs that game. Oh my goodness. Oh man, we saw Alex, you know, early game, he had to play one of those special charges to shuffle one of those DCs back in the game. Uh, later on, he took away the second one, and he ran out of energy, so Team Flaircon actually become an MVP in this game. Oh my goodness. Via Seeker for, D, for Team Flaircon. Discarded the DC, and Alex is going to immediately scoop. He knows he's out of special charges. He knows he's out of DCs, and that was a crazy game. Oh, man. So, 
like I said, this is a very good matchup. Both these players are very skillful. They know what they're doing. They know how to play Pokemon. And this is probably one of the best Greninja versus best green matchups you can see. Probably on YouTube right now. Especially if you're if you're thinking of going to Athens Regionals, you might be expecting a Greninja for sure. But if you're a Greninja player, you can learn how to play around this best queen deck. Alright, so both players are gonna get a shuffle. And uh what Alex needs to hope is he hits those DCEs. We saw that he did whiff the one, the early one uh, with the Zeb Strike and knock out the Talon Flame. He whiffed that one, and if if that would happen, the whole game would have been different because Zach couldn't have used like his Arrow Bliss to search into cards out of his deck. Uh, but can Zach find? Can Zach start with another Talon Flame and use that Gale Wings to start with it? So both players are going to shuffle up. And let's see what happens. Own game number two. This is a best two out of three situation. And I imagine Alex will decide to go first. Uh, he does start a Klefki, unfortunately. And no other Pokemon in his hand. So both players are going to put six new cards down. And let's see what's going to happen. Alex is not having a great start right now. Uh, uh, Acrobite discards a Via Seeker. DCE and a Sycamore. Discarding his hand. Draw seven new cards. All right. So he finds a Kobe, uh, Kobe Trubbish Garboder. In and in. Alright, Trubbish, Kobe. And if I'm Alex, I might retreat this Klefki and then use Wonderlog to put on the guard, the Trubbish or the uh, Kobe. So that way Zach cannot life center it up. Or Team Flurk on it, sorry. Uh, Team Flurk on the active or life center it. So we'll see it pass on to Zach. And if you don't know what's happening with that Klefki, uh, Klefki has the ability Wonderlog, which you can discard it and attach it to one of your Pokemon, making it where Megas cannot touch it. Uh, we see a Faded Town come down. So we see Zach does play both Faded Town and Sound Labs. And we're going to see it in if Alex, I mean, if Zach can't find another Pokemon, Zach just got to find it. I mean, then, I mean, if Zach doesn't find a Pokemon, Alex could potentially win the game next turn. Just getting a Best Queen, and DC, and Be Your Venge. I mean, I think there's already like three Pokemon in the discard pile. So that would be enough for a knockout. Alright, so both players are going to get six new cards, and let's see what's going to happen, and I don't think I see a Pokemon in Zach's hand. Oh no, we see a pass, uh, Kobe, oh no, there's a DC in his hand. Alright, so Garboder coming down, uh, Flowstone, DC, Special Charge, shove the, uh, the DC back in his deck. If Alex finds a Vest Queen, that is going to be game, unfortunately, and this is what happens with Greninja sometimes, you just... Don't hit a Pokemon, you just get dunked. And he doesn't find one just yet. He's got some flow stones, he's got some unknowns, so unknown, unknown, um, feral letter. There's a via seeker, that's not what he wants. Um, he can put down Blitzel Flowstone, Trumpish Flowstone, Shame instead of a five, two, three, and there's the best queen. He'll use B Wrench for the knockout. He can even feral letter do even more damage if he wants to. And wow, that was a quick game too, which does happen sometimes with Greninja. You know, you just don't draw another Pokemon and you just lose, unfortunately, which, you know, it does happen. It does, it can happen in any, but any deck, right? Not just Greninja. That's just, that's just Pokemon. Uh, but unfortunately, we didn't, we didn't see a good game too. We just saw Greninja just do Greninja, which happens a lot, unfortunately. But both players are going to shuffle. I'm going to go game number three, and I imagine Zach will decide to go first. Now, Alex does play that Force of Giant Plants. If Alex can get a turn one knockout, oh, man, that would be amazing. I, I want to see a Force of Giant Plants turn one knockout with Vest Queen. be really dirty, uh, but who what, who doesn't like to see some crazy turn one attack like that? Civil players are going to shuffle up, going to set up, and let's see what's going to happen in game number three. Can Zach start with the Talon Flame this time instead of that Froakie? That would make a ton of difference because that Talon Flame would, I mean, yeah, it wouldn't have been knocked out. I, yeah, Alex didn't have a, a Bustle turn once. There was no way that would have happened. Well, he did discard a Bustle turn one, but I, th I think he discarded a Bustle turn one. He just didn't put it down. Uh, but we see Alex start with the Blitzel. He's got some Klefki. Uh, he's going to Mulligan, showing that he does play Lysander, which I don't think we saw game one. And Alex does have the Force of Giant Plants in his hand. Oh, my lord. If he gets a turn one, that's going to be amazing. All right, so uh, Zach's going to give a good little shuffle here. And we'll see what happens. Can, 
Can Alex get a tier one beer bench with Vest Wing? It'd be really dirty, but I mean, who wouldn't love to see that tier one play? That would be amazing. So, going to get a good cut, and let's see what's going to happen. It looks like he did find a Pokemon. I'm not sure if that was Town Flame or. Oh, it was Town Flame. Oh, no. Tier one Town Flame. I mean, Alex could potentially still take a knockout if he gets some crazy turn one shenanigans. But there's an end. Both players are going to shuffle, get six new cards. I mean, Alex hit the discard. 11 Pokemon turn one. Find a Force of Giant Plants. Find a Kobe Vestwing DCE. Very, very unlikely, unfortunately. All right, but we will have a game three for sure. So that's great. That's a good thing. You want to see game number three. You want to see what's going to happen and who's going to take round number two of this Madison League Cup. And I'm just excited that we have this opportunity to record at these games. So both players are going to get a good cut. And let's see what is going to happen. Uh, we see Kobe and Alexan. And Zach's not going to find a Pokemon. Kobe coming down. Ultra Ball, discard Blitzel, and Revitalizer. If, if Alex does this, I would be so shocked. I mean, it doesn't look like he's going for that play. It looks like he's going to play, like, really passive, just grab Chubbish. Not really go crazy. Like, he could grab Shaman, set up, grab Unknown, go crazy, try to get a turn one knockout, but looks like he is going to take his time. There's really no need to do that. If you do do that, you put yourself in such a bad situation because then you don't have Garbodor, you just lose automatically, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I, I think going this play with Alex is for sure the better route. So we see a Flowstone to Trubbish, Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven new cards. Blitzel, Flowstone, Shaman, Vesquian, Ultra Ball, and a Combi. So Combi coming down. We'll see a pass. I want a Zach's turn. All right. Now, if Zach doesn't find a Pokemon, he's in trouble. So we see Sycamore, go to discard his hand, draw seven new cards. Uh, he discarded two flow, uh, two max potions, and there's a Froakie. All right, so Zach does find a Froakie. A Die Ball for another Froakie. And we'll at least have a game, but Alex could potentially take a knock out of this turn. Uh, pretty nice up Striker, DCE, and Crashing Bolt. Unless, um, I don't think Zach retreats here. That'd be crazy. I don't think, oh, he's going to put Splash in a pass. All right. Oh, no, Air Blitz. Sorry, not a pass. Air Blitz for two cards out of his deck. Probably got my Frogadier. And maybe a Bursting Balloon? I don't... Like, the same card's so weird. Like, if you don't have Frogadier, you're for sure got my Frogadier, right? Oh, what he could do is grab Frogadier and Team Flare Gun. And then discard the DC off the active. That could be really cool. But Alex hasn't played his special charge like he did game one. Um, Alex did discard a special charge like turn one, game one. Which made a... a it made a, a lot of difference. So he's the Unknown Feral Letter. Oh, there's that special charge I was talking about. No, Alex just drew into it. Old Ball discarding Blitzel and a special charge. Oh, no. I cursed him. I talked about special charge and he drew into it. Oh, no. So, see, he's have striking coming down. All right. And, uh, can Alex find a DC to crashing bolt this Talon Flame for a knockout? That would be the big question. He does have a, a Vest Queen, Flowstone, Shaman, set up for 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, there's a DC and a teammate. So you can put the DC down, put down Vest Queen, and he can crash and bolt for the knockout. There's really no need to play a supporter card right now. I don't think of. think so. Uh, so see a knockout. Owen is Zach's turn. Gonna get a Frog of Deer down. We'll see our Super Rod. Shell back some waters of. Ooh, some Frog. Yeah, that's good to put it back in there. You kind of need your frog deers when you're about to water duplicate. That's a really uh, good thing to have there. But, um, let's see. We're going to see water duplicates. Get some frog deers out of play. And, yeah, just go, that's, oh, no, Zach's going to look at Zach, Alex's discard pile just to see what's in there. He does have the team floor gun, which, uh, that's a great play. And we'll see water duplicates. It's going to get three frog deers out into place. There's one. There's two. And there's three. All right, so both games seem to not prize those frog ears, which is fantastic. All right, so Alex turn. He's got to be a little bit careful because you know game one he ran out of energies, unfortunately. So uh, can Alex find a DCE? Can he find a DC without discarding a special charge? So there's a lot of different things that can happen right now. All right, so Alex going to draw first turn. There's a Sycamore. Kobe coming down, force giant plants, and a Sycamore. Discard his hand, draw 70 cards. And I don't think I saw DC off the back. So Acrobike, uh, Klefki, and Klefki. 
All right. We see another Acker bike. There's a DC and an Ultra Ball. All right. If that was another DC, I think Alex would he would be in trouble. Like if you had to, if you Acker bike for two DCs, you just cry. I think you just lay over and just cry on the table. Um, both see a treat into Vest Queen. And we'll see a beer wrench for the knockout going down to four price cards. All right, so Alex does have the early pressure, unlike last game. Now, Alex does have a Garboder in his hand, but does he want to put down or not is what he's contemplating. Uh, let's see. Does he want to put down? Nope, not just yet, which I think is fine. There's no way Zach can get a Greenwich and break out this turn, so it's not going to do too much. You know, Greenwich and the Garboder, Garboder is really useless unless... Zach can find an energy, Greninja, a Lysander to knock out the bench Trubbish. Oh man, so it's a water energy in the active. And a Sycamore discard his hand, draw seven new cards. Alright. So next turn, Alex is definitely gonna get these this Garbador out. He's gonna get Garb out, making where his opponent can use uh giant water shuriken. And there's Ultra Ball discarding Tile Flame and a water for another Greninja. Yeah, I think if Zach had a Lysander to knock out the Trubbish. With multiple Greninjas out, he would be like in a dominant position. But since we know Alex has a Garbage hand, it's not going to do too much. All right, Greninja coming down. And if you're Zach, do you Moonlight Slash for 80? Or do you retreat into Frog and let it get knocked out? No, he's going to Moonlight Slash for 80. All right, so on Alex there, he's going to draw a card. Garb will come down, unfortunately, and put Zach in a bad situation now. Now... Alex doesn't have any supporter cards in his hand as of right now. Uh, he still doesn't. There's a Greninja Break from Zach. Okay. Uh, we see a Dive Ball for another Greninja. But can Zach find energy? If he does, he'll take a knockout and get rid of the only energy plus yeah, only, the only energy on board. And uh, Alex does not have any supporter cards in his hand right now. All right, so Zach's gonna look at. They're both gonna look at each other's text card piles or decks. See what's all in there. Oh man, like I said earlier, they play so fast. It's it's just really funny to me. Um, but we see Zach. He does have a water energy. He going to see a treat into the Greninja. Water energy, and we will see a a via seeker. Oh, does he go for a, an in? Oh, he is gonna play in. Oh no, he doesn't know. Oh man. Alex Handel was dead. He didn't have a supporter guard. He didn't have a DCE. And now Alex has a chance to win this game. Oh, man. Oh, no. Um, well, we'll see what happens. Uh, Alex is going to only get three. He could have three bad cards. Or he can have three really good cards. Like DC, Vest Queen, Sycamore. That's probably the three best you can get. Acrobat, Kobe, and a Trubbish. Still, Alex does not have a supporter card just yet. A Silent Lab coming down. A Diet Ball for another Greninja. And we have the game here, guys. Even though Garbodor is out with that Flowstone, you can see how close of a game this is right now. All right, so we're going to see a uh, Moonlight Slash, maybe? Uh, just to pick the energy back up. So, yeah. Moonlight Slash for 80. Knock out the active. Going down to five prize cards. So, both come up. There's a Shaman, which does nothing. Acrobike. There's an N and a VS Seeker. Gonna play the VS Seeker. Kobe, VS Seeker for the Sycamore. Now, if if Zach had found a Burst Balloon, this would make it so weird because. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, he doesn't find a DC either way. Oh, no. I don't know how many DCs are in the discard ball, but there's at least two or three when he just shuffled through. Hold on, let's see if I can see. One, two, all right, it looks like maybe two in the discard pile, so he's just getting very unfortunate. So Super Rod, so back of the Kobe, Vest Queen, Shaman, Ultra Ball, grab the Vest Queen. There's a lot going on so quick. Oh my goodness. All right, so if you're Alex, who do you send in? Um, I don't think you want your Vest Queen getting hurt. If you let your Garb get hurt, then Garbador can fall down next turn. Uh, Vest Queen coming down. And we'll see you retreat. All right, so he's going to let this Zep Shock get knocked out. All right, so uh, Zach is slowly making a comeback here. Um, He's got a Water Energy to the active. Does he find a Burst Balloon or a Lysander? If he can Lysander up the... I don't know who you Lysander up, maybe. I don't know, just 280. I think he take a knockout's fine, going down to 4. Uh, we see a Special Charge from Alex, so Alex can get those DCs back into the deck, and that's what he wants. And if he has the teammates in his discard pile, he can teammates for 82 cards out of his deck. 
So via Seeker, um, show me teammates, and there it is. Teammates for 82 cards out of his deck, which is going to be probably DC. Oh, I think he just kind of double DC. He's like, whatever, double DC, let's go, I think is what he just said. Unless he grabbed a via Seeker so quickly, I just didn't see it. I think grabbing DC and via Seeker would have been the better play. I don't know if that's what he grabbed or not, though. So, uh, we know for sure he got a DC. Zach knows he got a DC. And it's a DC and a Sycamore, I think. Uh, yeah, Sycamore. So, he grabbed two Sycamores and a VS or in. Enhanced Hammer, discard the DC off the active. Zach still played the Energy dis Disruption game, which could maybe work if Alex, I mean, if Zach can end him down to two. And there's an end. Gonna put Alex down to two. Oh man, this game is getting so close. Alex, I mean, Zach having all these like tricky tech cards like Enhanced Hammer, Team Flare Gun is actually giving him a chance against Vespain Garboder, which is essentially what we have right now. All right, can Alex find a D? It's only been it's been thirty minutes, and we're game three with two four prize cards left. That's just how fast these players are playing. Zep Striker and a Lysander. Oh no. That's not what Alex wants to see. We're going to see a treat in a Moonlight Slash for 80. All right. Alex going to kill the Kobe. That's not what he wants to see. Lysander bring up the Greninja. And you might be wondering, why did he do that? Um, it's just because if Alex gets in, he doesn't want to draw back into that Lysander. We'll see a treat and we'll see an energy. And does he have a Lysander? Um... I think you just hold, if that's a VS Seeker, he wants to hold on to it. So is he an 80? There's an N. A Kobe coming down an N. Gonna put Alex down to 2. Zach's gonna get 4. But can Alex find a DZ? If he does, he can retreat to Vest Queen, take a knockout. But then it comes down to, well, can Zach find a Team Flare Gun to discard the energy off the active? Oh, man. This, this game is actually really close, and I'm excited to see what's going to happen. There's DC, and it looks like a Shaman as well. So Vesquin will come up. We'll see a DC and a B range for the knockout. Does Zach have a Team Flurk, a VS Seeker, or not? And he does have a VS Seeker. Oh, man. So he can, he can discard the energy off the active. Uh, I think that's what you do here. I think you go for Team Flurk Gun. And it's hope Alex can't find another DC. Um, I'm not sure how many. There's one. I think there's just one in Alex's discard pile, unfortunately. So see Team Flare Gun. We'll see Energy to the active. And we'll see Moonlight Slash for 80. All right. Can Alex find another DC or not? That's a big question. And there's a Sycamore Acrobike. And there's a DC. And Alex will take this game. Oh, man. That was such a good game three. Oh man, guys! So there you go. There's Greninja. Oh, he had he had two Ds left in Dak. It was only a matter of time. Well, maybe I don't know. Zach could maybe have I don't know. It, it, anything could happen, Pokemon. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you learned enjoyed round number two of Madison League Cup. That was a very exciting game. Oh man, that was crazy. And like I said, I want to give a big shout out to the next level games. Make sure you check them out in the description down below. They did provide this amazing setup with this top-down view, so I'm so excited to have this view. It looks amazing, don't you agree, guys? But hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty, bye. All right, guys, I just want to give a quick shout-out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.